What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skaima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour of you, we're going to look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figure, SPD Pink Ranger. This figure is a beauty. You can see her inside the window box with all the accessories that she comes with. In the front side of the box, we get a picture of the Ranger herself. Right there in the bottom, Power Rangers Lightning Collection and her name right there. In this side, we get another picture of the Ranger. In the back side, we get a picture of the figure looking all good. In this side from the top, there's the name of the series, Power Rangers SPD. And right here, we get the other half of the picture from the front side. There's nothing in the top side or in the bottom side, so enough chatting. Let's take her out. And here's the figure out of her box. And she looks nice. She is my first female ranger figure that I got here. And she almost looks like the red ranger the one I reviewed before. But the only difference is the body mold. Because the body mold design is a female. And she's pink. And the number is different. You can see she's number 5. And the head sculpt as well. Almost look exact same design but the only difference is the detail that's pretty much it right there but still she's so nice i love the pink color the white color and especially the accessories that she comes with all right so now let's get on with the accessories that she came with and here are the accessories the figure comes with i'm gonna start off with the changeable head that looks kind of weird. It doesn't look that good. They made her cheeks kind of big. Well, the color of her lips is okay, but the sculpting of her nose, I think they made it a little bit big right there. But she does have some little bit of pink faded paints on her face. The eyes are okay. The eyebrows as well, but the hair sculpt is very good. You can see all that nice sculpting from the back of her hair and also in the top. Love the color. Look at all that good sculpting right here in the front and also right there in the bottom and the tips of her hair. Very nice. But you cannot see her ears because they're all being covered up with her hair. Whoa, they put a lot of bunch of good work here on her hair. And take a good look at this piece. They done a wonderful job right here. You can see they added a lot of spikes all around it. And it's not pointy. And right there in the middle, it has some darker color. And the bigger spikes had some light color. And also they added some glitter right there inside very nice and this you can attach it on this light store right there and she comes with one pair of extra hands but you know that each hand is different that this is a fist hand and a gravity hand i'm gonna start off with the fist hand like you can see the fingers right there in the front all sculpted including the thumb right there and you can see the knuckles in the top and some detail in the back of the hand. But the grabbing hand, they done a pretty good job here because you can see the bow, middle finger and the ring finger attached to each other and the pinky kind of, but the index finger is kind of separate and there's the thumb. And in the back side of the finger, you can see more sculpting, more detail right there. And especially like the white color and we also get the exact same morpher, the same one that the Red Ranger came with. Like the exact same design, the exact same black paint right there in the front, and SPD right there. You can see some detail right here in this side, in the bottom, some red around it. But I can't remember because hers is silver and the Red Ranger, his is white. So the only difference is the silver paint that this morpher has and she comes with her gun 
and this design is very great you can see it has some nice good detail work like right here in the tip some silver color some sculpting and a little bit of red color here where it's the black part is and also in this side looking all good I don't know if these are light swords. Well, I did saw them using these on the show, but they look good. Like the design right there in the bottom where it's the black color. And each one has a little bit of red color dot in both sides. But you can see that this one is smaller and this one is bigger. And you can see more sculpting here in the tip. Well, there's not a lot around the middle, but you can see more pink color right there. Okay, so now let's get back with the figure. And here's the pink ranger again. But when I took her out from her box, she felt kind of skinny and she felt that like she's going to break. And I didn't even know about that. So be careful how you take her out. All right, I'm going to start off with her head sculpt. And like I said, it has the exact same design, but the only difference is the detail right there in the top. And where all the black color is, it's all sculpted and same thing on her mouth. And we get the detail batch of Doggy Kruger right there. And we get the exact same design here in both sides of the head, where it's the red and silver. And you can feel all that sculpted. And also on the top of her head, like the tip, and more silver colored lines around it. And you can see some white color around her neck. But boy, the pink color is all clean. I like it. And right here, you can see the SPD logo. And right here in this arm, you can see the badge again looking all good. And also the white colored line is all clean. Also from the back side. And you can see a line right there on her back. And the black color is very good. But you can see some wrinkles right there where it's the elbow. And also this one. And also around her shoulders. And each arm has this little detail around it. And her color of her gloves is very nice. You can see her fingers in each hand. And also the them and you can see the exact same detail like the extra hands that she came with and they did some little bit changes around the belt because look in this one you can put the gun in this one i think you can put the light swords or the morpher nah i think the light swords but i do like the added this detail right there in the middle of her belt and also on her back. And I really love the number five that she has on her suit. But there's not a lot to talk about on her legs. Like I said, we get this nice clean pink color. More super color in each legs around with some black. And a little bit more silver on the bottom. Well, her boots does has a little bit of designs. Like this line here is all sculpted, wrinkles in each boot around, more sculpting on the back of her boots, and more wrinkles around her feet in each one. And the bottom of her shoes, you can see some detail in each one around. What is the difference? Well, the difference is... The design of the body mode is a female because you can see her chest on her torso. And she has more wrinkles right there on her waist of the suit and same thing on her back. And each arm right there in the bottom has more wrinkles of the suit. Now let's get on with her articulation. You can move her head side to side, a complete rotation. She can look down a little bit, but she can look up a lot. No ball joint. Oh, yeah, she does have a ball joint. Butterfly joint. You can open her arms this much, 
rotation in each arm around. No double jointed around the elbows, but you can swivel it around. Wrist articulation and some pivot. Some torso articulation. You can bend back and forth. Same thing on her waist. You can open her legs this much. Kick a lot from the front, but not from the back. Double joint on her knee. Swivel where the leg is. And some ankle articulation. Comparing size, but first let's see how tall she stands. She stands just exactly six inches tall. Here she is with my cyber villain that I want to review in my last video. And you can see that these two figures, they stand the exact same height. And here she is with my Marvel Legends x Lino, And you can see that x Lino is taller than her. And here she is with my Fairy Morris Soled Thanos. And there you have it, guys. And boy, I just really love that energy effect right there that you can attach it to the light sword. I really love the pink color and the number five right there that she has on her suit. <sighs> like I said, this figure is a beauty. Hasbro done it again. Okay, guys, so this is all for today. So thank you for watching today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share it, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my videos, like my toy hunts and my toy reviews. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I catch you guys on the next video. Take care and be safe. Keep on hunting and keep on collecting. To the CN Skyima and the SPD Pink Ranger, and we're out in line.